What's good y'all? I'm back for another Duru Ball Legends video and today I'm gonna just be doing something chill. I'm gonna be reacting to this quote unquote hot take uh, thread from Abu. Shout out to him. He low to the goat. But I'm gonna just react to it cause your boy don't wanna play PvP right now. Season just reset. Low key season reset is the best time to play cause you find noobs then you can run stupid teams. But I'm trying to like chill okay? And this is coming from the best player. The best player on my fudging block bro okay so let's just say i'm quite good in this game i'm totally not being sarcastic right now anyways enough with the bs let me just react okay i'm gonna try to give my honest opinion and i also want to say like for some previous metas i was very casual so loki i might forget about some stuff just hop off okay your boy was a casual at first that's that dokkan brain what what Brain rot, what? Okay. Legends Festival 2021 units aged the worst when compared to the previous ones. Uh was it sort of hope 2121 Right? Am I tripping on balls? And he definitely was 2021 and Sword of Hope is actually really good. His unique gauge, this killing um key. It's actually really good because it forces switch outs and uh, it's really good for neutral. For the blue bros however, yeah, I mean they don't have a Zenkai and sort of hope does so of course they're going to be better. But I mean, H the worst. Fine, I kind of agree but sort of hope, okay. I see my boy, my fat tanks bruh, I love fat tanks. I'm a real fat tanks uh, rider, but fat gold tanks is a better third option on the hybrid chains team than Pan and Bulla. Okay, I'm gonna go in a little bit of a ramble here, but how did how the fudge did Pan out age 90% of the game? I don't. Yo, being the HP buffer and a support unit, oh my god, bro! Literally, if you give that that type of unit to any team, it's gonna enhance the team by 1 billion bro pan is actually a demon when she be saying Amida! oh my god bro so fudging annoying but fat go tanks i'm a real fat go tanks lover okay like having endurance so you can run triple not triple endurance double endurance on hybrid his key reduction i literally talked about how good key reduction is and how he goes type nooch on switching is good but what if I told you there was a red unit terrorizing this game and he definitely doesn't rhyme with Pooper 11 Okay, that's just what I want to say. Bola and Vegeta are actually really underrated because key reduction is good, right? And plus they're supporting and plus they give uh, cards to Super 17. Fudging recipe for disaster. I'm thinking about it, probably Fat Gotenks is the worst out of these three, but whatever, right? It's still good, he's still good, like, these three units are still good, but Fat Gotenks, in my opinion, is still the worst out of the three. Alright, overhated on release, but we'll get their shine throughout the year. Bro, who be hating GT Spirit Bomb? Actually, a lot of people did on release, not gonna lie, for his animations, though. I don't think that people actually hate his kit. If I recall, I was actually really big on GT Duo. Bro, I called him GT Duo. I gotta get that Dokkan on my brain. I'm really big on uh, Spirit Bomb Goku. I don't know if people if he was overhated. People just said not to summon. Because guess what came after him? Super 17. Guess what Super 17 does? Terrorize the fudging game. I don't think he was overhated. I still summoned for him and I didn't get him, but I'm just cursed. He came in the time, same time slot as Android 17 last year, and bro, I still don't have him. He fell off though, so I guess I won. Vegeta. Oh, I actually 100% agree. Vegeta is not super duper OP. We be knowing. But when he gets his gauge, he's actually very goddamn good. I'm not gonna lie. I got cooked once by him, which is max gauge, bro is just comboing and doing too much damage. I'm gonna say Vegeta is definitely not good, 
but he's kind of overrated because when he has his full gauge, he does mad damage. And yeah, all right. Campaigns have been losing their touch and aren't exciting as it was advertised. Really depends on the campaign. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Campaigns are hit or miss. They're like 50-50. Loki, most campaigns are actually gonna turn out more horrible than they are good. Like last year, we had the U uni reps thingy. They were getting multiple campaigns. Same thing with GT these this year, right? So GT is good. Universe reps is good. But when we think about Namek Saga, um, uh, Dragon Ball, like I guess technically you can say Cell Saga. The hybrids was kinda a winner. Yeah, those were misses. I don't know man. It really depends on what the campaign is. Fudge bro, if they have another Majin Buu saga and it's a Vegito, you won't see me twerking so hard. Like I would think that would be pretty cool. It just really depends on how they handle it. And how they handle the characters. They need making characters better though. There's always a misses, but in general, characters have been better. Alright, not worth summoning on any banners unless it's Anniversary and Legends Festival 90% of the time. Monthly units age out when the major celebration begins. You know what I instantly think about? Android, tag Android 17 and 18, bro. The thing is, when uh, MUI released, you we ran them both together purple purple no it was red red purple right with Weez that team was AIDS bro mm, usually it's still true because the ultra unit but something on ultra banner is also AIDS anniversary and legends I, fudge, I kinda agree though like anyways you're getting more bank with their buck by summoning on anniversary and legend festival banners because if you noticed recently banners been dookie they've been so bad bro and most mostly like anniversary and legend festival banners are good so you do get more with their buck mine is bardock his banner is eight and it's still eight bro all right tag agamas was the unexpected fall off unit in the game Due to all the reds units released after his release including Zenkai's, Beast and Super 17 officially ended him. Yeah bro, this was Loki kinda true. <laughs> he got done dirty. This guy just released Metaphor Reds. He does go nooch, but not that for that long. And like his nuke and stuff, what good it what good is it when uh, you're doing it against the red? I forgot if his nuke is neutral. Maybe I'm tripping, I don't remember. But yeah. He gets kind of cooked. He's a good unit. I can't lie, but on fort. Why did bro pull Red Janemba? Red Janemba did nothing. No other unit will be as toxic as these four were post Zenkai. Bro, funny story. Your boy ran two of them. Actually, I ran three, bro. I was I'm skillless, right? So I used to run Sun Family with Gohan, um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I forgot who was the third unit, but good, good times, right? Um, as toxic. Shoot, I don't even remember. Okay, of course Gohan was toxic. Android 18's man was so aged too. Like, <laughs> strike, 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 and you're done, right? I'm actually thinking of one more unit. Fudging Fat Boo, bro. Oh, Fat Boo, bro. Don't even get me started. That was one of the worst, the regen meta bro, one of the worst metas ever, you could, most games went on so long, and yeah, you could not kill Fat Boo, <laughs> which was um very bad, honestly, like right now the meta is cringe, but at least it's less passive than it was before, so whatever, I kinda agree, I think um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not as toxic as these three, Maybe I'd replace him for Fat Boo, but other than that, sure. The sparkings on Mega Rising banners. Facts, bruh. This is true. This is true. Unlike, unless it's like Ginyu. Actually, not fudge it. That's also uh, not true. Mega Rising banners are always doggy doo doo. Okay? 
I never summoned on them. I only summoned on Ginyu because Ginyu was fucking cool. And there was three new units rather than two. He was the only exception, but I never summoned on Mega Rising. Ultra Gohan self decided PvP has a blue card and strike gauge counter, Avery Green, and a blast card holds anti blast armor break. He also has a lot more, but these three are the major problems. Every unit that has blast armor are directly affected by him. Super 17, period. It's actually crazy, because even he listed all the broken things about Gohan, even still. You could uh, argue that Super 17 better than him, which he is honestly. He's just Super 17 is just mad brainless. Like he's brainless, Gohan's brainless, but Super 17 is brainless on crack. All you need to do is press blast and you win. You can't do anything. Especially running both of them together, now you have a blast that can't be armored through. And that's actually funny because Super 17 has like anti no, blast armor thingy. He does mad damage on blast armor, which is really fucking funny, right? But I don't think he soft reset at PvP. Like not compared to these motherfuckers. People will say his damage isn't oppressive since the previous ultra release were broken. Cap. Cap. Okay, maybe his damage is not impressive, but he Frieza, he has too many ways of getting greens, so he has too many ways of uh, long combos which eventually do a lot of damage. So that's Cap, he does do a lot of damage, and he has a fudging revive, whatever it's called. So that's Cap, I am O. Only time reveals and stuff showed the broadcast did is during Anniversary and Legends Festival. The other times would be better if they dropped hints or social media campaigns to make it much more fun. I love social media campaigns. I love it so much bro. Like social media hints. All those stuff, that's the best thing Legends uh, does in my opinion. This is a, even a hot take. Only times reveals and stuff. Oh, he's saying the only times reveal and stuff should be is during anniversaries and stuff. I agree. Okay, I actually do agree with this because like monthly reveals and stuff, there's barely nothing to show. <laughs> it's just rambling bro about previous things. So I kind of agree. Yeah, now you can agree. I agree 100%. This is facts. I agree with this so much. Last designer vibe unit in the game. People attacked him because he wasn't busted as beast on release. I've been saying, just being a revive unit, you automatically are good. I not automatically, but being a revive unit is really fucking good because you can stop combos, etc., etc. And Piccolo is unique he's gonna be automatically good because he's already a revive unit and that's kind of the case he was really good with his um equip so yippee but a single tag for a year it's the single worst decision they've made in a while this hurts free to play players to the extent uh stamp them drop the game and see pvp would reach where the last three months released units are required to be in top 1k they don't be buffing a single tag like that though like they, even though they said that they're focusing on GT a lot, GT is not the only tag being buffed. Like powerful opponents, androids, GT, for the uni reps. Yeah, you could run those teams and be top 1k. Easy, right? But kind of see where he's getting at. But I can't. I disagree. Sadly, their unique equipment isn't enough. Blah 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 blah. This is not true. First of all, we don't know what the fudge their unique equipment is. If it's busted, these guys are busted. Can you please remember what they do? They have sub count manipulation, bro. They have an AoE green. They have AoE greens are pure aids, bro. They have Vegeta has long combos. Goku has vanish. These guys have vanish restore. Their base kit is good. I don't know why people be hating. Because they're not defensively good. Wow, I wonder if there's a defensively good blue unit that GT has that could cover them. Right? 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 GT Spirit Bomb? What? What? Okay, this is so cap. Uh, Zenkai's are just garbage. These guys need to step up Zenkai's. I'm not scared of any Zenkai except for LF Zenkai's. 
because I love characters have good kids. So I don't care. This is I disagree. Worst release ever. I hate this character. I fucking hate Goku. I hate Goku and Bardock. They're actually so toxic. Fucking hate Goku and Bardock. Beautiful on release from where? I'm I'm so happy they got Powercraft. Thank God. Okay, rating match proud. It's the worst mode they ever dropped. Alright brother, I don't know about worst mode. <laughs> Players will only play treasure battle once per day, log off, do slot. I agree with the second part. I don't think it's the worst mode. Tournament of power exists, like I don't even know what the fudge tournament of power is. I just watched Green Rough and do it. I don't even understand anything about it. Uh but I do agree, it should not be a main mode, it should be a side mode. Devs are more focused on character animations, character animations rather on their design. Talking about kit? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I disagree, but I don't get what he means. Cause I'm stupid. Ultra UI Goku's locking is the most damaging and unfair mechanic in the game. Fudging agree bro. What do you do if you're a purple unit? You die. This guy actually eats purple units alive bro he skins them he wears them bro i agree bro the fact that he gets ultimate too is actually aids this is the this is what i want to talk about super 17 is a type of unit that punishes passive players which was needed I this is a real hot take this is not no garbage bait hot take this is a real hot take and i'ma just say this i kind of agree Kinda, I, fudge, I agree. And I have proof. In my old videos I recorded before his release, they were like 15 20 minutes. Ever since he released, and ever since I've been running him, my videos have been hitting under the 10 minute mark. I always do 3 PvP matches. Why is that? It's because this guy is too offensive, bro. He's too offensive. He's cringe, don't get me wrong, but he's way too offensive. Therefore, I do agree, he punishes passive players because they just sit back and then once you get one combo, one card, he, he literally nukes half your team health. So I agree, which was needed. Uh, which was needed? Sure, I guess. I don't know if it was needed, but he sure makes um, PvP matches go faster. You can also play him passively, which is actually really funny, right? You can just sit back, have your green, and then let your opponent make mistakes, but this character is really offensively oriented. He reminds me of Vegito Blue, the blue Vegito Blue, because that character press strikes, he presses blast, and he does negative, I mean not negative, one kajillion damage. Anyways, I guess this is done. I remember I knew that was the last thing because I remember this was actually fun I like reacting to these hot takes anyways pretty decent third made this find the way subscribe and peace